You read that right. The MCU is getting Spider-Man back. He is coming back. But how? Well, let's discuss. Let's roll back the clock a little bit. This is before the whole Marvel Disney thing, before uh, we got the MCU, before we got the, the Avengers films and all 23 epic movies of the Infinity Saga. Before that was even a thing, before that, before that was even an idea to do that, Marvel was selling off their movie rights for different properties to different studios. They sold off the movie rights to Fox, which was a really bad idea. Which Fox never really did anything, except occasionally did something successful with the whole uh, X-Men thing. Uh, Sony received the Spider-Man rights. And Sony had some on and off success. Now, Tobey Maguire was okay as Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield, not so much. But Tom Holland, my god. Tom Holland nails the Spider-Man character. He resonates with people like no other, no other version of Spider-Man I have seen in movies. I think it's because he's just an ordinary kid. He's just an ordinary person. He, he comes off as authentic. He's here. He's this this British kid doing a kid from New York, and he does it really well. It, 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 it resonates with people really well, and I think that's why people just love this version of him. It's not just because he gets to interact with the characters in the MCU. But people just love this version of Spider-Man, and, and, and I want to see this version again to come come back to the MCU. And we're very likely going to have that, and I will get to that here. But, um, back when Sony was making these deals, they were very smart. They were very smart. They, um, they put into the clause for the Spider-Man IP with Sony, that if Sony were to ever sell off the Sony Pictures Group, all the Marvel rights would revert back to Marvel. All the Spider-Man rights that they sold to Sony would revert back to Marvel. And so, what's happening? Sony wants to sell off the Sony Pictures group. They want to sell off the whole studio. And right now, the, the two biggest contenders for that are Apple and Netflix. Apple has started the Apple TV Plus, and they've started making their own original content. And Netflix has been making their own original content, some of it Marvel, some of it other stuff, and it's been successful off and on, like um, some of their Marvel stuff, Jessica Jones and Daredevil were really good, um, Luke Cage was sort of, eh, okay, Iron Fist was like, what the hell are they thinking? The Defenders were, eh, all right, and then the Voltron reboot was was pretty good. Um, the reboot of the or well, the continuation of reboot was, eh, it was okay. The Dark Crystal, my, holy shit. Um, if you watch anything on Netflix, any of their original stuff, watch Dark Crystal: Age of Resistance. Watch it. It's best TV I've seen out in current time. They've, they've gone to places that I didn't expect shows this day and age to go to. Watch it. Watch that show. Anyway, so those are the two biggest contenders for buying the, the Sony Pictures Group whole Sony movie franchise. And if uh, Sony does sell off their movie making division, none of the Marvel rights goes with it. 
So if Apple buys it, they don't get those Spider-Man rights. If Netflix buys it, they don't get the Spider-Man rights. It reverts back to Marvel. And we'll get Spidey back in the MCU. And it, it's pretty much a done deal at this point. Because Sony, Sony wants to get rid of their motion picture division because it hasn't been a moneymaker. They've had some recent success with... You know, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, which was really good. Uh, their, their, the animation style was very creative, and it worked for that movie. And it was a very good film. And the, the two Spider-Man films that they did in collaboration with Marvel Disney were also extremely good with Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Those were extremely good. But other than that, they haven't had any other movies that were really performing all that well. Their, their previous Spider-Man films didn't perform that well, and uh, m most of their other movie properties haven't performed that well. So they want to basically sell it off. And when they do, all the, all the rights to the Spider-Man characters, all the Marvel rights, revert back to Marvel. And we will have Spidey back in the MCU. It's pretty much an inevitable done deal. It's pretty much going to happen. It's only a matter of when. It's not if. Not if. When. It's, 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 a, it's a done deal. We're getting him back. Hopefully, the Tom Holland version. And not somebody else. Like what happened with that... Uh, I think it was Edward Norton. And then we got... Uh, Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. Hopefully we won't get that. Hopefully we will get Tom Holland as Spidey. I, I really do, because he, he is the best Spider-Man that we have seen in a long time. That also means we get Venom, because there's a really good story arc of Deadpool and Venom. And, and since Disney, Marvel, were able to acquire Fox, they get all the X-Men characters back, including Deadpool. And they've already said that they're going to allow the making of more R-rated Deadpool. They're going to allow it. And so they're going to have Venom. The Venom Deadpool arc is likely become a thing, hopefully. So the future of Spider-Man in the MCU is looking pretty good. I've been Mike the Zorch. I'll see you guys next time. Some Zort Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zort Central colon E.